Why I love cold calling. You're probably thinking, is this guy insane? Who could ever love cold calling? But in this video today, I'm going to tell you why I love cold calling and how I've found massive success by using the phone to call people. My name's Nate Jones. Every day at 1.15 p.m., I post a video about how to build a business, how to buy a business, and how to grow your entrepreneurial journey and get to the next level from a money perspective. So if you like that type of content, hit like and subscribe. Okay, I'm going to give you eight reasons, eight reasons today why I love cold calling and why you should probably do it as well if you own a business. Number one, you don't have to be anybody important. You don't have to come for money. You don't have to have connections. Your family doesn't have to know so-and-so. You know, so many parts of business is so, oh, relationship-based. Oh, I know that's why he's successful because he was connected to blah, blah, blah. It does not matter who you are, where you come from, what your education level is. If you can pick up the phone and make calls, you will find success in business, depending on your business. But most businesses, you could cold call and ask people if they want to interact, purchase, product, service, whatever it is in your business. So I own an insurance agency, so today I'm kind of talking in reference to a service-based business if somebody wants to use your company. Okay, so number two, it works. I have produced over $500,000 in revenue in the last two years from cold calling alone. So just from cold calling, I've produced over $500,000. Okay, so it does work. It does work. An example of my cold call is this. Hi, my name's Nate Jones. I'm with Wexford Insurance. Just seeing if you guys needed any business or health insurance quotes. Yes or no? If they say no, I say, is there a better time to reach out? And then usually they say no again. And then I'm like, okay, they're not interested. Or they say yes, reach out this time when closer to our renewal. I understand that it's a little unique for my business that I own, an insurance agency. But for your business, you could find kind of a variation for that. And probably, I would almost guarantee success. Number three, it connects you to another human being. Okay, the more connections that you have, the more sales you make. Okay, you got to connect. A marketing ad on Facebook does not necessarily mean you connect unless somebody clicks on it, okay? A connection in real life means that you've networked with somebody, had a conversation long enough to where you've shook their hand and you've gotten their business card, okay? So all of these efforts take two things. They take a lot of time and a lot of money to make a lot of connections on you know, online ads, Google, Facebook. It takes a lot of money, okay? So what cold calling does is it gives you the undivided attention of that other person on the phone. For almost zero dollars, whatever your phone bill is, and how you found the prospect, and how they how you got their phone number, if you if they if you've allowed them to opt in to whatever you want them to call, like whatever it is, it's very inexpensive for you to produce that cold call compared to any other connection out there. So it allows you to get the undivided attention, just like the cold call I mentioned before. I'm asking that person specifically. I'm taking a portion of their time and asking if they're interested in buying and they say yes or no. So I gain information on my prospect. I gain either yes, they're interested, and then they could potentially probably be a sale, or no, they're not. And then I know that to I do not have to put effort into calling them for an extended period of time until I want to follow up down the road. Okay, number four, it maximizes your time. I can call more people in a day than I can meet with. If I can make 125 cold calls in a day, if I'm really hitting it hard, um, I'm an owner. You know, I'm an owner of my company, so I can't make as many cold calls anymore because I'm busy running the company. But the people at my company could probably make 125 cold calls a day. So for them to go meet with 125 people, you'd have to be at a massive networking event and you'd have to have almost a speed dating where you're just meeting tons of people. And to be honest, if you're meeting that many people, you're probably not gonna connect with a lot of them because it's gonna be a very short period of time. The nice thing about cold calling is you can basically see if they're interested and have a conversation later on. So that's what I like about it is that you're getting a lot more touches. And in sales, the more touches that you have, the more connections, touches, whatever it is, the effort that people see. They see your ad, they see uh, that, they, that you have a conversation with them on the phone, whatever it is, the more that they see you out there from a referral, whatever, the more sales you make. So you're allowed to, you're able to make more connections through a cold call than any other um, time wasting event like networking, right? <laughs> so it maximizes your time. Number five, you're able to focus your outreach towards people who are probably more apt to buy your product or service, right? So my agency, we work with a lot of construction companies. 
I am able to target our cold calls to where we only reach out to construction companies, or we only reach out to manufacturers, or we only reach out to trucking companies. Whatever it is, I'm able to focus my approach. So now those 125 cold calls a person that go out, those are focused to the potential prospect that's in our ideal client. Whatever our ideal client is, I'm able to go approach those people. In most businesses, you can look at that, right? You're a pool service company. Well, go find people who have pools in their backyard, and if you can't get their phone number, go knock on their door and see if they're interested in buying your service for pool cleaning, right? You're able to go target those people. You don't send a flyer out to people who for pool service cleaning if they don't have a pool, right? So it's the same thing in sales. You're able to target that specific prospect that is in your ideal client base, Okay, number six, you can do cold calling from anywhere. That's the cool thing. I've been on the beach in Florida. I've been on the beach in California. I've been in London. I've been in Ireland. I've been in Canada ripping cold calls and have made connections because it does not matter where you're from when you're making a cold call because they don't know where you're from. So it's a very scalable way to grow your business, right? You wanna get more business, if you can make more calls, you can make more sales, right? So the nice thing is you don't have to hire somebody who's necessarily in your state or wherever you're at. You don't have to go to a ton of networking events and exhaust yourself. You as a business owner could have enough outreach going out from cold calls into which you don't have to spend as much effort because you have other people making cold calls for you instead of you going to all these networking events and falling yourself asleep because you're trying to Uh, talk to everybody under the sun. Now, I do believe networking, you can be successful in it, but what I'm trying to say is I've found way more success from cold calling than networking, but networking is still another line that you need to do, but I would say to focus on cold calling. Number seven, it is the most unexpensive form of marketing. You do local marketing, you gotta put your company on billboards, you gotta sponsor T-Ball, whatever it is, that costs a ton of money. You do Google ads, Facebook ads, that costs a lot of money, right? You buy leads, you do anything like that, it costs money. But cold calling, in a website, a website costs money. It doesn't cost a ton of money, you can do a lot of stuff. I think SEO is super important, which is search engine optimization, but cold calling is super inexpensive. It's a phone bill and getting a prospect list, okay? so. Finding a prospect list, calling that prospect list is very inexpensive. Um, if you're calling businesses, the nice thing is you can really grab that data from public sources and look into your local cold calling uh, laws and regulations depending on where you're at. But the nice thing is that it's very inexpensive to compile a list of companies to cold call. Number eight is it almost guarantees success. What I've learned in my business running other businesses and talking to other business owners, cold calling is one of the only marketing approaches, sales approaches, sales, whatever it is, that will work no matter what. You call enough people. Now, if you call 20 people and you're like, cold calling doesn't work. Yes, it doesn't work when you call 20 people. But if you call 5,000 people a month, somebody, somebody out there will be interested in what you're trying to sell if the product is worth their while, and if it's a good product, and it will actually help that prospect. If you have a good product, you have good service, and you call enough people, you will find success. Now, if you do Facebook ads, Google ads, you don't know. I mean, you can, it's very subjective. Where are you at? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Same as with local marketing. You could sponsor the local ball diamond, and everyone sees your logo, but nobody calls. Why'd nobody call? I don't know, but one month, one year we did it, 10 people called. I don't know. I mean, it, we don't know. We don't, it, it's weird. But with cold calling, you know specifically because of the data. We have the data. It's just like my website. My website produces tons of leads. Some months it produces a ton. Some months it produces almost nothing. But cold calling, it's able to take that up and down sales approach and it makes it even for us because it's consistent. We know if we do so many calls that where our prospects are gonna be within a delta of this much. We may do a little bit less one month. We may have more success the other month. But if we do this outreach, we will find this success based on the curve, okay? So that's why I love cold calling. You know, a lot of people don't like it. They're scared of the rejection. My thing is, if somebody says no, that's okay. That means they're saying no right now, not no forever. We cold call them back and we follow up long term. You know, if somebody tells us to never call them again, we never call them again. But what I'm trying to tell you is that once you get used to it, you get used to the rejection. The nice thing is, 
you will find somebody who's interested and it kind of gives you that hope again. <laughs> so this is why I love cold calling. Um, I, you know, I, there's nothing special about me and you know, anybody at our company, you know, they're able to make cold calls and it's like, I always tell them like, there's nothing special about me and the success I've had with cold calling. The only thing that's special about me is that I've been able to make the call. <laughs> so the only thing stopping you from success, probably in your business as well, is putting in the effort. If you just put in the effort, you put in the work, you do what you gotta do, you go door to door if you're a pool company and you go knock on everyone's door who's got a pool and you ask them. If you ask enough people, someone will say yes to you. If you put in the effort, you go ask people, maybe you walk around the mall and you ask people if they, whatever, you know, I don't know what it is, but if you connect with other, other people and you connect with enough of other people, you will find success in business. The issue is a lot of people want to sit on the couch and they don't want to call people. They don't want to go visit people. They don't want to do any of that. They want to sit back and wait for the phone to ring. If you sit back and you wait for the phone to ring, it's not going to ring. Okay. You have to pick up the phone and go on the offensive, sitting back and letting your business do what it's got to do is way down the road. But if you're a small business, you're a startup, you have to work extremely hard these first two to five years until you have so much referrals that you don't need to do that as much. You still need to do it because that's what got you there, but you don't have to do it as much. So a lot of people don't do that. They don't do the hard stuff in the beginning so they have the easy stuff later on. They expect the business to be easy and it never will be. That's why so many businesses fail. So if you like today's content, hit like and subscribe. Thanks.